Okay, we're gonna do lesson 13-4 in our workbooks. That is page 691. So please turn to page 691 in your workbook. Okay, so today's lesson is about comparing fractions with the same numerator. Now, before spring break, we did the same denominator, okay? And that was, that was easy because when you take a pizza and you divide it into four equal parts, it's very easy to compare, you know, one-fourth compared to three-fourths, right? Because your denominator is the same, so you know all the pieces are the same size. So obviously, if you have three of those pieces, you have more than if you have one of those pieces. Today, we're going to be looking at comparing fractions where you have a different denominator. And it's not hard as long as you go back to that day in class where we had the uncut pizza and we cut them, and you remember that if you had one twelfth of a piece of a pizza, remember how small those slices were where I cut that pizza into 12 equal pieces compared to one half? Remember those people in the front row where I took that whole pizza and I just cut it in half and I gave them that big, huge, huge piece of pizza, right? The pizza was only divided into two equal parts, so if they got one of those, it was huge. As opposed to that same size pizza, and we cut it into 12 equal parts. Well, not very good, but if that same pizza is cut into 12 equal parts, each slice is going to be so small compared to only into two equal parts. So you have, for this lesson, when you're comparing the denominators, you have to think back, you have to take it slow, and you have to think back, um, and uh, think back to where that pizza day is. Every single one of these, you have to stop and think about cutting that pizza into two equal parts compared to cutting it into 12 equal parts. The bigger this number, the smaller the pieces. It's the opposite of what we want life to be. We want the bigger number to be bigger than the smaller number, but it doesn't work that way in denominators or fractions, which is why we went through that so much work to collect money from everybody. And we went and ordered the special pizzas uncut and we did that super cool lesson about that was to, to drive this home. So you have to think back to that. You cannot rush through this lesson, okay? If you do that, this is easy, but you have to stop and think about it because it's the opposite of what everything you've learned in math and everything you want it to be. Okay, so Carrie and Alan had the same number of vegetables to eat. They had the same amount of vegetables, so they both had this pile of, of something. Carrie ate one-fourth of her vegetables. Alan ate one-third, okay? So Carrie ate one-fourth. Alan ate one-third of his vegetables. Who ate more vegetables? Now, I know, I know. You want this to be bigger because four is bigger than three. It doesn't work that way. Think about this. Here's his plate of vegetables. If he divided his plate, that's not a very good division, but if he divided it into his vegetables into three parts, he ate one of those three parts. Carrie, same amount of vegetables. She divided her vegetables, she put them in four equal piles, and she ate one of them. If she took her vegetables and she divided them into four equal piles, there is less in each pile than if she only divided it into three equal piles. So one third is bigger than one fourth, okay? Alan ate more of that. Think about having a candy bar and dividing it into three equal parts compared to four equal parts. The three parts are going to be bigger. You're only splitting that candy bar between three people instead of four people. Or better, like this delicious chocolate cake. Okay, it's this beautiful chocolate cake right here. It's a round cake. Three people are there. They're each gonna get one third of it compared to if a fourth person now comes, everybody gets a little bit less. No offense to that fourth person. I'm sure we enjoy having them there. Everyone does get a little bit less cake because there's four people instead of three people. Okay, four equal parts compared to three equal parts. So if Carrie ate two fourths of her vegetables and Alan ate two thirds of his vegetables, okay, so now we have two fourths compared to two thirds. Again, the numerator is the same. That doesn't matter. We're looking at the denominator. Again, we still are talking about dividing that same amount of vegetables into three equal parts. 
compared to four equal parts, okay? So four equal parts, we're gonna put it over here. And three equal parts, right? Does this make sense so far? Four equal parts and we shade two of them. She eats two of them, two fourths, which is really like one half, right? And then here we took the, the plate of vegetables, we divided it into three equal parts. So each part is bigger because we only divide it into three parts. He eats two thirds, okay? Two thirds is more than two fourths because each part is bigger, okay? All right, let's take a look at the back. So I say it makes sense, but you have to take it slow. You have to think about what these denominators mean. And you have to have the same amount total, okay? It has to be the same size pizza, the same, and it did say that in the beginning. They had the same amount of vegetables to eat, okay? It ha that has to be true for this to work. Okay. Two scarves are the same size. Again, they're telling us that. They, they have to be the same size. They have to be the same length here. One scarf is five-sixths orange, okay? So we have five-sixths. The other one is five eighths orange, which is less, okay? Five six or five eighths. Okay, again, think about the size. This scarf has been divided into eight equal parts. So each part is smaller, right? This scarf has only been divided into six equal parts. So each part is bigger, okay? So this one up here, this is probably half, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So five, six is orange and five eighths is orange. This is, okay, this is half. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. This is five eighths. Okay, again, you just have to look at the, at the denominator. The one that's divided into six equal parts, each part is bigger. This is six equal parts. Each part is bigger compared to if you divide it into eights. So five, six, which one is less? That one's bigger, so that one's gonna be smaller. I know it's tricky. You have to think about the pizzas, okay? You have a pizza here that's divided into six slices. This pizza over here is divided into eight slices. Okay, over here, eight slices, each slice is smaller. So if we shade it in five, four is gonna be half, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is five eighths, and here we have five six. Three, four, five. Five six is more than five eighths. You have to think about the pizzas. Six equal parts, each part is bigger eight equal parts, each part is smaller. So if you have five of the same, you have five of the six, and the, the, the number of slices that you have is the same. So the question is, which, which one of them has bigger pieces, bigger chunks, okay? You could also look at your fraction flip book, okay? Look at your six compared to, to eights. One, two, three, four, five eights is right here. And what was the other one? Five, six. Okay, look, see, again, you're dividing into six pieces, so each piece is bigger. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six is right here. Five, eights is right there. Oops. Five, six is right here. Five, eights is right there. Okay, so five, six is going to be bigger than five, eights. And here we go. If we're talking about this whole section divided into eight, here's five of them, but each piece is smaller. And here's six of them, uh, five of them, but the, the sixes are bigger, so... Five of those is going to stick out more than five of those. All right, Julia says, oh, Julia. Julia says that one eighth 
is greater than one fourth because eight is greater than four. Miss Julia, are you right? Let's take a look. We can do it a couple ways. Fraction flip book, one eighth compared to one fourth. Here's one eighth, here's one fourth. Is one eighth greater than one fourth? No. Okay, is she correct? No. Because one eighth is smaller than one fourth. Okay? Because when you cut something into eight equal slices, each slice is going to be smaller than if you cut it into four equal slices of thing. Th again, think, you have a chocolate bar, you have a cake. You're going to break it and divide it into eight equal slices compared to only four equal slices. Do you want four people sharing that cake or do you want eight people sharing that cake? Okay, depends how big of a piece you want. All right, let's take a look here. How can fraction strips help you reason about size to find whether four six or four eighths of the same whole is greater? Okay. So we're looking at four six compared to four eighths. Okay, so we can use fraction strips. That's where we can use our handy dandy uh, fraction flip book here. Four six. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four six goes right here. And four eighths. One, two, three, four. Which one's smaller? The eighths are gonna be because the pieces are smaller, right? So, so we have four six compared to four eighths. Okay, and you're gonna fill in which one is, you, you do the greater than or less than sign in that one. Okay, which is greater, one-fourth or one-sixth? Draw fraction strips to complete the diagram and answer the question. Okay, so basically what they want here Okay, first let's divide this into four equal parts. So that's gonna be here, here, and here. Okay, and you're gonna shade one-fourth. And then we're gonna do the same size box here. But we have to divide this one into six equal parts. We're gonna divide it in half. Okay, so you want to shade one fourth. This is one fourth and one sixth. Okay, um, so which one is greater, one fourth or one sixth? So you're gonna write that right here. You're gonna write one fourth compared to one sixth, and you're gonna fill in which is greater than or less than. Okay, all right, write greater than, less than, or equal to the, and help the fraction strips to help you. Okay, you can also be using your fraction clip book, right? So we have three thirds compared to three sixths. So which, which is bigger? Three thirds, again, you have a pizza divided into thirds and you ate all three of them, or you have a pizza divided into six and you ate three of them. Yes, I hear you, okay? All right, so you have to decide which one is greater than, less than two, or equal to. And then here, you have four six compared to four eights, so you write greater than, less than, or equal to. Okay, I'm just gonna go back and correct these real quick. I need you to pause it if you're not done, please. Okay, so let's see. So four sixths is greater than four eighths. One fourth is greater than one sixth. Three thirds is greater than three sixths. And four sixths is greater than four eighths, okay? All right, so down here, you are going to use your fraction flip book to compare, okay? Now, it says, right, greater than, less than, or equal to, use or draw fraction strips. You can just use your fraction flip book for this, okay? <clears throat> two thirds compared to two fourths. Again, the thirds, each one of these thirds are bigger than the fourths, okay? So you're gonna write greater than, less than. On all of these, you're gonna fill in. Here, you can draw this 
This one they want you to draw. And they want you to shade in four fourths. And they want you to divide this into six and shade four six of them. So you know what to do on those. Pause it and do all of those. Okay, now hopefully you're back. I'm not gonna correct those. I'll look at it when you send them in. Um, okay, James uses blue and white tiles to make two designs shown here. Each design is the same size. James says the blue area in the top design is the same as the blue area in the bottom design. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is four eights, right? Four eights are blue. And here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and you have four of them shaded. So you want to basically compare four eights to four six. He says that the area of the blue top on the top is the same as the blue is the bottom. So he's basically saying four eights is the same as four six because you have four sections colored. Is that true? No, it is not true right? Because the sixth are bigger pieces than 